15, Alex Kirk. 17, Captain Byron Webster. 18, Corey Whiteley. 23, Bessart Topolodge. 28, Ben Crowell. Sorry, I had to interrupt you. Brilliant opportunity for Bromley there. Passley with a brilliant cross in, and Cheek was there. Leapt up and met the ball with his forehead, directing it just wide. Webster trying to take the ball away from McKechnie and there he does just about enough. Fonaku is lurking as well. Here's Topolodge playing a ball up towards Olomola in the box. Can he latch onto it? He can. Here's Olofelo Olomola who finds the back of the net with his left foot and scores his first Bromley goal. And what a brilliant ball from Topolodge it was. He had no choice but to block it out of the air and slot it beyond Chris Haig. Yeah, that was excellent. Brilliant ball over the top. Olomola just gambled on it. You've got to gamble on those situations where if the defender's going to miss it, you're going to be there to slot it away. And the way he took it down, brilliant first touch in his stride, slots it underneath Chris Hay, who came out to try and make himself big. Yeah, but I think that's with his right foot, should be cleared by Wilson. It is cleared by Wilson. Parker holding on to it there. Woods couldn't mop up the loose ball. And here come Oxford City once again. Crowhouse with a challenge, which just holds things up momentarily. But the... Away side still in possession with Roberts playing it through there to Fonaku in the box. Great chance, Fonaku goes down and a penalty's been given. Hey, yeah, the they deserve this if, if it goes in, I have to say. Probably haven't done enough, they've been first gear. Josh Parker, the vastly experienced striker, front man stepping up against Grant Smith here. Referee blows his whistle, up steps Parker. Looks like it's going to be a right-footed effort. Josh Parker finds the bottom corner and Oxford City a level and it's no less than they deserve in this game so far. They've done most of the attacking and they're back level. Yeah, good penalty. Right into the corner, Smith went the right way. Oxford have come forward in numbers and you can't say they don't deserve it based off their attacking play so far. Smith with the clearance as Bromley looked to get back in front here. Cheek with the flicked header. Pasley's chasing it. Pasley into the box. Great opportunity. Still Pasley. Great save by the goalkeeper. But he's still on the ball. Pasley across the face of goal. Olomola at the back post. Couldn't get the shot away. Whiteley slots it wide. Oh my goodness me. That's a golden opportunity on more than one occasion. I would nil. Absolute United one. Smith with the uh, right footed delivery headed away by Cheek. Krauss will have to try and get it further away and he does a good job of blocking the shot from Humphrey Ewers who had a brilliant clean strike at goal there. Here he is again, Humphrey Ewers on the edge of the box, comes to Mikio, takes the shot, deflected. Pasley will see it out of play there for a throw in. But it is the visitors who are looking dangerous in this one, more consistently than Bromley. When Bromley get the ball in the box, Dan, it's a, it's a different talking point. Bromley look very, very effective, but just in terms of these attacks, they're pretty much attacking at will here, the visitors. Yeah, they are. There's far too much space. Maybe Andy needs to get an extra centre midfielder just to sit next to Sam Woods because there's a lot of space in and around the edge of the box for Floxfords to get their shots off. Throw into Oxford City. Roberts takes it. It's not the best. Webster heads it away, but it will still come to the edge of the box for Humphrey Ewers. Webster with another clearing header looking up towards Olomola. Cheek is unable to get the ball from Wilson there who takes it down well. Now McEachran back to Mikio. Needs to be stronger in that situation there, Cheek. Here is Roberts. Roberts to Parker. Parker is going to shoot from distance here. He does, and it's swallowed up there by Grant Smith, who just gets behind it. He was entitled to try his luck there, Josh Parker, the man who dispatched the penalty confidently to Grant Smith under pressure from Josh Parker. The two of them having a good battle up today. Aleraway playing it up towards uh, Pasley. It's stabbed out of play there by Mikio. His cheek into Crowhaus. I wonder who'll be coming off, Dan. It's an interesting one. Here's Topolodge. Topolodge in towards Cheek, and again, the ball was not a bad one, but the uh, communication wasn't there. Miller with the ball in, which is not dealt with. Here's Michael Cheek at the back post. Great block. Cheek again. Great save. Michael Folomo it does, and he scores his second goal of the game. Brilliant work from Michael Cheek, who forced the initial save from Chris Hay, but Olomola is there to turn it home, and it's two goals for Olofelo Olomola. Yeah, Oxford City will feel as though that's a poor one to concede. The ball's come to the near post, and I think it was Andre Burley that has just sliced it into the path of Cheek. Cheek obviously not expecting it, got it out of his feet, and it's a quick, good reaction save from Chris Hay, and Olomola is there on hand to tuck it away on the half volley. And Here is that. Uh, 
Humphrey, Ewers, Roberts to McEachran. Now Roberts again. Played into Parker. I think Oxford City have been one of the better sides Bromley have played this season. Yeah, I agree, especially with the ball. Ball played in towards the back post there by Wilson, and it's a simple save for Grant Smith. But they've come here as underdogs, and they're really giving Bromley a very, very tough run for their money. Yeah, I don't think any game in the National League is tough. I think every side's capable of getting points on the board. Every side, obviously, being a newly promoted side, I said before the game, they... They had a slow start, conceding a lot of goals, and then they were scoring a lot of goals, and now it seems to have just died down that little bit. Here's Crowhouse to Miller, and uh, Miller runs into Fonaku, and uh, it will be a throw-in to Bromley here as Oxford City get ready to make a change. And it looks like the Louis Dennis substitution is on ice for now. And uh, you said, Dan, you wouldn't risk it quite yet. No, I can't actually see Louis Dennis at the moment. Is he in there? He's in there somewhere. I was, uh, I was thinking the same thing, yeah. actually. Is he gone? Here's oh, Crowhouse. I he's in there. Crowhouse to Olamola, back to Crowhouse, and now Miller, Bromley Art, growing in confidence here as Miller looks to take on Wilson, plays it around the corner for Crowhouse. Can he keep it in? He can keep it in. Wiley, great save by Haig. That is a really good bit of goalkeeping from Chris Haig to deny Corey Whiteley there. Brilliant work from Crowhouse. Just about did enough to keep the ball in. Smashes it up. In the air, back into the Oxford City half. Flicked on there by Cheek. And uh, into the arms of the goalkeeper, who has done well today, Chris Hague. He has, I'm impressed. Yeah. yeah, there's about seven or eight Oxford players that have really impressed me today. I wouldn't say really anyone has been disappointing no. from an Oxford City perspective. I think they'll be disappointed with the way they let in the second goal. But other than that, can't really fault the goalkeeper well. for that one. No. Here's Sanderson. One of these substitutes driving towards the penalty area has been pushed away momentarily. It's uh, Moore with a good ball in, and Lee has to get the header in there. Topolodge will have to head it further away, but it comes to Parker. Inside the box, great save by Smith. And Miller is there with the clearance, and now Bromley may be on. Raises his left arm and clips in the right foot to deliver. It's a good one towards a low away, and another good save from Haig, who tips it over the bar. Almost. A goal on his return for Deji Alaraway, headed it into the oh, ground. But the pass is poor and Cheek picks it up. Looking to make a run here, Michael Cheek, he does break through. Louis Dennis is ahead of him. Still Cheek as he just loses his foot in there as he looks to run forward with the ball. And uh, <laughs> probably just uh, the architects of their own failed attacks at the moment. Just, just didn't look comfortable when he was dribbling with it. He, he lost it once, managed to recover it. Is it a bit of tired legs, maybe? Possibly. They've uh, worked hard out there today, and it's not been a vintage performance for Bromley by any stretch of the imagination. Credit to Oxford City, who've put up a brilliant fight so far and are still well and truly in this game. Moore driving forward here. Runs into a bit of trouble, but finds McEachran. McEachran strolling through challenges into the box for Parker. Great opportunity, and I think that's a brilliant save for Grant Smith. My goodness me. That was very close. It was Dennis, and uh, there was a block there, which just took the ball away from Dennis. That's five minutes, or a minimum of five minutes, are signalled. Here comes Parker down the left-hand side, playing it in towards Sanderson. Picks it up. Now McEachran, opportunity. Too much space. Ball in from Moore. It's flicked goalwards almost by Smith. It comes for Coyle here, great opportunity from outside the box. Didn't want to shoot, finds Roberts. Roberts playing it in, Alera away with the clearing header. Back to Humphrey Ewers, who goes for goal. And uh, I'm not sure if it took a slight deflection there. But Grant Smith gets behind it to keep possession now, rather than attack anymore. And Whiteley brings that to an end with a, a bit of a poor touch there. Yeah, and he wins the ball back, does so well there. Here is Lewis Lee. Now Dennis breaking through towards the edge of the box. Louis Dennis goes for the low shot and finds the back of the net and marks his return to the team with a brilliant goal once again. He only scores brilliant goals, doesn't he, Louis Dennis? He wraps it up here for Bromley at the relocated community stadium. 3-1. Yeah, brilliant. Good bit of tenacious play there from Corey Wiley. He was the man that gave it away, didn't give it up. Managed to just nick it in front of the Oxford man and Louis Lee with a brave header. Came out the better of the two players there. 
and Louis Dennis could have slipped Louis Lee in but Louis Dennis it was basically three against one at the back there Louis Dennis had all the time in the way